Hi there! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing another mushroom girl. <laughs> Sorry, got carried away. So to catch you up to speed, Funguary is an art event hosted by Fufil every year in February. This week's prompt is mystical. There are so many cool fungi on this list, but I think I'm going to stick to the classics. The fairy ring mushroom. I jumped on Pinterest and decided that a seer type character that's blind would lend itself into a fairy ring mushroom well. I focused heavily on covered faces and intricate designs, though those didn't actually end up in my final design for this doll. I know just the doll to use for this project. Big me, bring out Claudine! Big me? Hello? Ah! I didn't see you there. This Claudine will be our vic- I mean guest today. Let's get started! Welcome to my new workspace. Well, it's not new. I just finally got a backdrop that wasn't just scrap fabric I had laying around. I have to say, working on a yellow backdrop makes me happy. To prep Claudine for her transformation, we need to remove her hair. They've come back for me! I can never escape them! Once you remove most of her hair, it's time to wipe her face. Use a q-tip soaked in acetone to wipe it away. And here's the ugly makeup stage. Once she's nice and clean, it's time to lop off her ears. I am a hoarder of doll parts, so into the scrap bin they go. Hey. Why is a perfectly good Dark Elora body in here? After all that stress of ear removal, Claudine needs a spa day. Just kidding, it's time to pull her head off. Once she has been decapitated, it's time to remove the remainder of her hair. Take a flat screwdriver and run it on the inside of her scalp. Once you have most of the plugs, it's time to pull her hair out of her neck hole. Wait. We have to keep the new background clean. Now that she is truly bald, she is ready. Pro tip, wipe your tools down with acetone to remove the glue. For her hair, we're going to give her cream yarn hair. Wrap the yarn around a square object and then cut it off to create multiple strands at once. After that, we're going to painstakingly split each strand into four parts. Once you have completed this, it's time to reroute her. Take your reroute tool, loop a strand over the needle, and plunge it into her head. Once you have completed the outside of her hairline, it's time to cover up the gouging holes in her head. I'm using Mod Podge and fabric scraps. After a few hours, they should be dry, and we can continue. We're going to create her part next. Once you have completed one side, add additional yarn to the other side to fill out the part.
Once the part looks good, it's time to fill in the rest of her hair. Make sure to skip plugs as yarn is quite voluminous. I swear there's a doll under here somewhere. I do love this texture, but it's not what I had in mind. Take your favorite non-water soluble glue and coat the inside of her head. Make sure to take a Q-tip and spread it around. Once that's complete, it's time to put her somewhere safe to dry. You can hang out with your future buddies. After 24 hours, the glue should be dry and we can continue. Take a pet brush and brush out her hair. When you're done, she should look like this. So soft. Now let's mask off her hair to protect it from Mr. Super Clear. Remember to wear a particle mask as MSC is toxic. After 30 minutes, she's ready for her first layer. I'm taking a light brown to sketch out her face, but please ignore it as I'll be wiping it away anyway. And now for some awful eyebrows! And I guess we're not gonna work on the other side of her face. And white highlights on brown skin tone. I should know better than this. Oh, and black eyebrows for her white hair. Finally, I decided this was not the vibe. She was giving nothing. So I wiped her off with plain water as these are just watercolor pencils. Once her face has re-dried, we can continue. I decided to block out the eye whites first this time. Also, please ignore these eyebrows as they're not here to stay either. Now take some black to give her eyeliner and some definition to her irises. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to make her blind, so she needs gray irises, because that's what every blind character has for some reason. For her lips, I'm giving her dark brown to match the mushroom. Don't forget to stab into that lip crease! And now these eyebrows are the ones that she'll be keeping. I decided the angular non-curved brows look the best. Next add some faint eyelashes.
And now we are adding a moon to her head. Honestly, I just thought it would look cool. I have no clue why I decided on it. Now we can't forget freckles. After another cut of Mr. Super Clear, it's time to darken the darks and lighten the lights. Using black, I add more definition to her eyeliner, lashes, and iris. Taking a light gray, I add dimension to her eyebrow. Pro tip, you can use a brush dipped in water to wipe away the edges to create sharp points. Now I'm using the right color. With a light tan, highlight under the brow, the nose, and the cupid's bow. I guess I was feeling daring that day, as I also highlighted under the eyes. Now with metallic watercolors, let's give her silver eyes. I'm using a light silver for the center of her iris, and dark silver for the outline of it. I then used white watercolor to brighten up her scleras. Now after the final layer of Mr. Super Clear, it's time to gloss her lips and water lines. Oh, I guess I forgot to reinforce her eyeliner with black paint, so I guess we'll be doing that after the gloss. And I decided here that she needed more eyelashes, so I painted them on. Once the black is done, it's time to add her eye shines and lip shine. Hey, get out of the frame. Now she can be freed from the head burrito. I love how her face turned out. Now it's time to style her hair. Brush it out and then cut off the ends. We are going to make it look like a mushroom. Using a flat iron, I flare out the edges of her hair. And once it's fully styled, it's time to add color. Chalk pastels stick nicely to acrylic yarn, and if properly brushed out or washed, they shouldn't transfer to anything else. I'm using two different browns and a dark tan to create a gradient from light to dark. I'm referencing a fairy ring mushroom off screen. Once 
This is her finished hair. It's so ridiculous, I love it. Now to reattach her head. Heat it up with the hairdryer and shove it back on. For her clothes, I actually made several prototypes that matched the original design, but they all felt uninspired, so I hopped on DG Requiem's shop on Etsy and I found this cute pattern. Take your pattern, pin it to your fabric, and use magic to cut it out. Whoosh, whoosh. Now remove your pattern and find out there's a stain on your skirt! Yay! Now on my iPad, I designed graphics for her outfit and I had my Cricut cut it out. And this is what they look like on the skirt. And I added teeny tiny little stars to the ruffle on the bottom. And this is the finished dress. I love it so much. For her jacket, I actually lost the footage of her appliques, so I just have the finished jacket for you. I really loved how it turned out. And now for her shoes. I took some Frankie shoes and painted them brown to match. So we have the doll, her shoes, her underdress, jacket, belt, now all that's left is to play dress up. Wait, I've decided I hate the shoes. To better match her, I thought cute beige sandals would fit her. I made them out of the back of a notebook and some embroidery floss. Just take the floss and stab it through the paper. Bam, instant shoes. You'll have to also use glue. I ended up leaving the laces long and I tied them all the way up her leg. And this is how she turned out. She's so cute. She looks nothing like my original plan, but hey, Sometimes dolls take on a life of their own and end up being something completely different than you intended. Her hair is my favorite part, and honestly, I wasn't even going to do it to begin with. Well, I hoped you liked her. She was a lot of fun to create, but now we need to name her. Is there a name you'd prefer? Well, there you have her. Daylene the Mushroom Fairy. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!